from Phoenix there, and the conductor, John Pilbra. And John and I will do some hand signals as we go along. We've got two groups to march on this afternoon. The, the first group to march on, of course, will be the 356 uh, Squadron Air Training Corps from Phoenix. So, thank you, John. Squadron. But on a lighter note, we're very pleased that Mr. Richard Barker, a very long-standing Vice President of the Marshall and Heath Aviation Society, uh, accepted our invitation earlier in the year to become our new President. And Richard will address the parade shortly. Taking the service this afternoon is Bishop Jeremy Walsh, who we welcome back once again as Marcusham hasn't got a, uh, a vicar at this present time. Also taking in part in the service uh, this afternoon is the 356 Squadron, ATC, who you saw march on, the Kesgrove Detachment, Suffolk Army Cadet Force, and welcome to both of you, and thank you for coming. We have with us once again Wing Commander Phil Nicholson, representing the RAF, and he is from RAF Milton, also so come a long way. But not quite as far as our next guest, which is a return once again to Colonel Mark Cheerio. And he's come all the way from Germany uh, to see us this uh, afternoon. So thank you, Mark, for making that trip. Uh, lovely to see you here again. Representing Suffolk Constabulary is Inspector Stuart Weaver. Who flew from Marcus and Heath. Their sense of duty, their skill, and downright courage lift them into the skies to fight the next battle, to fight the next fight. The pilots and the air crews who lifted off from here to fight the next battle were not just from this country. They were from wider Europe, Poland, and of course, they were also from the United States of America. There were several squadrons, one of squadrons were stationed here, five squadrons were stationed here. And one of the memorials there to the American forces, the air crews who flew from here, was the first memorial erected in Europe to our American friends, our American colleagues. It was built by public subscription, and nobody was allowed to give more than a few pence. But gave they did, and hence we have that memorial as one of the three memorials clearly dominate this place as they rightly should. The ultimate victory that the courage, the skill, 
and a tomatillo. A tomatillo of those salads and air fruits. Came at a cost to so many. As Martin has alluded to already, many have suffered terrible consequences as a result of those fights, those battles that they were engaged in. And sadly, many gave everything they had. They gave their lives for us. Their names will be remembered. They will never be forgotten. And these memorials stand proud in recognition of that huge important role that so many played so often and with such courage. Hooray! Attention! Standard bearers carry standards.
Sanity, standard bearers, order standards.